Welcome to another edition of Top 5. This time we have Halloween edition and we're bringing you the Top 5 Frighteningly Bad Wrestling Gimmicks All Time. Let's start off with the scariest guy at this table, Andrew. <laughs> Hit us all with your top five, brother. All right. Honorable mention is the Gobbly Gooker. Ooh, that was very, <laughs> very bad. <laughs> yes, that was terrible. Number five, Mantar. Mantar, yeah, that's up too. <laughs> <laughs> and number four. Is uh, Red Robin? Red Robin. I'm mean, sorry, Red Rooster. Red Rooster. <laughs> yeah, Red Rooster. Red Rooster. The, all Red three Rooster. of them are animals. Yeah. There's a there's a trend here. Yeah, there's a trend going here. <laughs> Number three is Max Moon. Max Moon. A lot of people probably don't even know who that is. It's flying into outer space, though. Yeah. Number two is Festus. Festus, that was pretty bad. He got saved by Sam Punk, though, thank, thankfully. Yeah. And he got saved by Carl Anderson. And now he's Luke, <laughs> now he's Luke Gallows. Yeah, that's, that's good. And number one is the Shockmaster. The Shockmaster. Because well, that was a great be, entrance. Yeah, yeah. The greatest <laughs> entrance of all time. Probably, yeah, that was, that was mm-hmm. pretty horrible. Did you see his figure? He's like a Stormtrooper. He has a toy? Yeah, they made one for like this like fanfare or something like that. And it's like him upside down and the back is ripped. Oh, right. <laughs> As if he's like falling through this. Falling through that's <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, pretty, that's, yeah, like, that's pretty badass. Yeah, it's like one of these like ring conventions or comic things. Yeah, that's, wow, funny. that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I gotta pick one up. All right. Pat heads, get ready, because here is Patrick. Give us your top five, Pat. My honorable mention is the gorgeous one, Tyler Breeze. Yes. I have to disagree with that. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I, I totally agree with that. He's the Prince of Cuteville. Come on. <laughs> that just sounds horrible. <laughs> He's Prince Pretty. Yeah. Number five He's gorgeous. is Kerwin White. Kerwin White. Yeah, that was yes. bad. <laughs> that pretty much sucks, too. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, it's the wrong time of the year for this guy, but Mr. America, Hulk Mr. Hogan's America. alter ego, yes. yes. At least Mr. America wasn't racist. Yeah, it's true. Kerwin White, White was. He was yeah. for America. He was <laughs> yeah. for America. Number three is like Hulk Hogan. Eugene. Eugene, that's oh, come really on. bad. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. His favorite wrestler was The Rock. <laughs> Many the people. Was Triple H. Oh, Triple H. Triple H. Triple H, Triple H yeah. was his favorite. No, wrestler. no, he said The Rock. His favorite wrestler was Triple H. No, the Rock he... asked him, "Who's your favorite wrestler?" Oh no, yeah, that's right, Triple he H. Said, Triple H. Yeah, Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H was. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You're right. You're right. Number two that's is him. the the wrestler formerly known as Goldust, but now on this list he is seven. Nice. Oh. That was, that was, oh, that was bad. And number one. Even Rain was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was bad, too. That was really bad. <laughs> number one is none other than this time of the year, too. Has to be this time of the year. The Gobbledygooker. That's, huh? that's a pretty bad one. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, there it is. All right. Now for my. Derek's not going to say that. Top five. It's Mine here. is always interesting. <laughs> Honorable mention, you get two for one here because it's Halloween time and it's trick or treat. Like a Reese's. So you get a treat, just like a Reese's. You get the fake Scott Hall and the fake Kevin Nash, fake Razor Ramon, fake Ooh. Diesel. Beep, beep. Get two for one. That, I didn't even, that was just stupid. You know, you just, it's like, what do they think? Fans didn't realize that there was a new, I don't I don't know what they were trying to do with that, but it was stupid. And that's great. And they actually won matches too. Yeah. I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna insult them, they should have just straight up lost right. all yeah. the matches. I don't know. Alright, number five. Disco Fever. Disco Inferno. Oh, I love Disco Inferno. Disco, no. It's, it's not the same. I noticed another trend. Andrew loves many people that are on our top five bad lists. Yes. No, I, I like Tyler Breeze and, and uh, Disco Inferno. Yeah, Disco Inferno. And, and, yeah. and Eugene. <laughs> Dis- Disco <laughs> Inferno. I thought, that was, I thought that was in bad taste, but a little yeah. funny. <laughs> there's a trend here. Andrew likes to see men who dance and look at themselves in the mirror and call themselves cute. I'm pretty... Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a weird trend. I think it's on. funny. Think it's that's, funny. That's, that's pretty frightening. <laughs> for, yeah. Uh, number four. 
you get another one. Kevin Nash comes in again, but this time as the Oz. Oh, yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. He had a whole bunch of green and makeup on. I don't even know what that was. It was just terrible. It was yeah, very bad. bad. Kevin Nash is like the most successful wrestler to have yeah. multiple, like gimmicks. a million gimmicks. Yeah. yeah. Vegas. So was Kane. Yeah, Kane too. Yeah, Kane Kane too. Yep. too. Nope. Think, but, but at least Kane had one that lasted forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely. Like, he wasn't just Diesel or just like Kevin Nash. You know, he had like a million over yeah. and over and over recently. Yeah. In the end, they figured it out. Yeah, I that's, know. A, that's all that matters. Oh, now his corporate cane is pretty bad, too. Corporate cane. Yeah. He's had a couple of bad ones since. He's had some bad ones. <laughs> Number three. I don't know if you guys will remember this guy, but the zombie from ECW. Yeah, that zombie, was horrible. Yeah. Oh, I do, yeah. That, that was pretty bad. That was, yeah, that was, that was short-lived. Horrible. That was very short-lived, but it sucked. I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, it was stupid. Number two. I have the same as you, Pat. We got seven. Gold us, <laughs> you know, when he went to WCW. Yeah. They didn't know what bad. to do with him, and they gave him, I don't even know. It was like they took powder and put him in the Undertaker's clothes. Yeah. He did cut a nice <laughs> promo with that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and even in TNA, they didn't know what to do with him. They didn't know what to do with him there, either. Uh, even when he became the rain, that was just... It was just bad. It was just bad. And number one. Frightening top five worst gimmicks ever. Yeah. The giant Gonzalez. <laughs> he was horrible. I don't know. He was just tall. He had a weird suit that made him look like a Sasquatch. He had muscles, yeah. I, I don't know what was going on. That that was just weird. Funny thing is, the Undertaker didn't pin him. No, he, he didn't. Did. didn't pin him. He beat him by a DQ. count out. It was or like DQ, DQ right? Or something. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the Undertaker technically lost that match. Yeah, I think but, he won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That That's yeah. when they just kind of sweep under the rug. And then the match restarted and it was a count out. The ref reversed the decision. I think that's what happened. Yeah. So but yeah. That that these were all some horrible picks. Um I don't think we have a three peat this week. No. On any of them. We all had some some frightening trouble pairs, but yeah. not no one on all three. Yeah, no. no. That's pretty frightening. Yes. Yes. And that will do it for this edition of Top Five. Top five, top five, top five.